On Thursday, Governor Alex Tolgos appeared before the Senate Public Accounts Committee to explain how his administration utilized public funds in the last financial years. Tolgos taken to task to explain how he paid his 2,484 employees 2 billion shillings in 2018, 800 million more than what the county ought to have spent in employee compensation. By your own admission, and you have said this uh, in, in the public domain, that the money you get, almost all of it goes into paying salaries and operations. But we are starting to see a problem. Uh, the boat is leaking, so you need to assure us. Because you complain about salaries, but now we are seeing some serious inconsistencies Growth of 84% against budget, when you already know you have a problem, uh, surely that blame cannot be laid anywhere else uh, beside your door. Uh, there was a, an error in this uh, uh, statement, which uh, I think the budgeting people, because uh, on average from 2014, 2013, uh, our budget is above 2 billion for personnel emolument. The county boss was also at pains to explain how his administration had been unable to keep an updated integrated payroll and personnel database. Since 2013, uh, Governor Tolgos, is it, is it really right that you would be sitting in the Senate in the year 2018, after you were sworn in, in 2013, to tell the Senate that you're in the process of, of, of uh, approving a, a staff establishment for the county government of, of, of really, after, after seven years? Did you have a validly constituted public service board? Yes, yeah. How many not, members? Not July. By end of May. Uh, no, by July when this was being adopted by the County Public Service Board. Did you have a County Public Service Board in place? Yes. yes, yes. How many members? Uh, four members. Out of? Out of uh, six. Four out of six? Yes. Uh, in his 2018 audit report, the Auditor General said that Elgeo Marquette was spending 54% of its budget on personnel emoluments, way above the legally required 35%. Meanwhile, Kaloleni Member of Parliament Paul Katana has faulted Treasury for failing to disburse monies from the Equalization Fund. The legislator says for three years now, Treasury has failed to release the funds, negatively impacting projects in the intended regions. It is against this background that I seek a statement from the chairperson of the Budget and Appropriation Committee. What is the status of disbursement of funds from implementation of project as completed in Article 204, Section 2 of the Constitution? Last, when are the funds expected to be disbursed? Article 204, Subsection 1 of the Constitution establishes an equalization fund where 1.5% of all revenue collected by the national government is deposited to be utilized by regions considered marginalized in the country.